we want to divide and write the answer in lowest terms. When we have a quotient involving a fraction, we normally write the quotient as a product. Dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So notice here we're dividing by c over d, which is the same as multiplying by d over c, where d over c is a reciprocal of c over d. So looking at our first example, let's write nine as an improper fraction with a denominator of one. So we have nine over one, and then instead of dividing by three halves, we'll multiply by two thirds. Multiplying by two thirds is the same as dividing by three halves. And now we'll follow the rules for multiplying fractions. So we multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. So the numerator is nine times two, and the denominator is one times three. And before we find these products though, we want to simplify out any common factors between the numerator and denominator. So notice that three and nine share a common factor of three. To see that common factor, let's write the prime factorization of nine which equals three times three. So we can write the numerator as three times three times two. The denominator is still one times three. Now we can actually see the common factor of three. Because three over three equals three thirds or three divided by three, which equals one, we can simplify three over three to one over one. And now we can multiply and know the fraction will be in lowest terms or completely simplified. So the numerator is three times one times two, which is six. The denominator is one times one, which equals one. Six over one, or six ones, equals six. Sometimes you'll see the simplifying a different way. So let's look at this again. We can write nine as nine over one, and then instead of dividing by three halves, we'd have times two thirds. In this form, if we recognize that three and nine share a common factor of three, because there's one three and three, and three threes and nine, the three would simplify to one, the nine would simplify to three. Simplifying this way is equivalent to simplifying as we did here using prime factors. Multiplying the numerators, we would have three times two, which equals six. Multiplying the denominators, we'd have one times one, which equals one, which would give us six over one, which equals six. Before we take a look at our second example though, let's talk about what this quotient means. What does nine divided by three halves equals six tell us? Well, it tells us there are six three halves in nine. To model this, if we define one rectangle as one whole, notice here we have a total of nine, and then if we cut our partition, each rectangle into two equal parts, each part is equal to one half. In this form, we can count the number of three halves. One, two, three halves. One, two, three halves, one, two, three halves, one, two, three halves, one, two, three halves, and one, two, three halves. Notice how this shows there are six three halves in nine. Now let's look at our second example. We have seven tenths divided by 21 halves. So as a product, this would be the same as seven tenths times the reciprocal of 21 halves, which is 2 21st. Now we multiply. The numerator is 7 times 2. The denominator is 10 times 21. Now again, before we find these products, we want to simplify out any common factors other than 1 between the numerator and denominator. 7 and 21 share a common factor of 7, and 2 and 10 share a common factor of 2. But to see those common factors, let's look at the prime factorization. Well, seven and two are both prime. The prime factorization of 10 is two times five, and the prime factorization of 21 is three times seven. So again, now we can see the common factor of seven as well as the common factor of two. So two over two simplifies to one over one, and seven over seven simplifies to one over one. Now we can multiply another product which is the same as the quotient, will be in lowest terms. In the numerator, we have one times one, which equals one. The denominator is one times five times three times one, which equals 15. So the product, which is the same as the quotient, equals 1 15th. Now let's also show the simplifying using the second technique. As a product, we would have 7 tenths times 
221st. Recognizing 2 and 10 share a common factor of 2, because there's 1, 2, and 2, the 2 simplifies to 1. Because there are 5, 2's, and 10, the 10 simplifies to 5. Because there's 1, 7, and 7, the 7 simplifies to 1. And because there's 3, 7's, and 21, the 21 simplifies to 3. And then multiplying, notice how we do have a numerator of 1, a denominator of 15. So the result is the same, and this does tend to be faster if we can identify all the common factors, but the prime factorization method is also nice because we can always see the common factors between the numerator and denominator. I hope you found this helpful.